For this week's video, I'm gonna be trying Band Kids toys. A lot of these toys came out before I was even born, so I have no clue what any of these are. So obviously these toys were banned for a reason, so just don't tell my parents that I'm doing this. All right, let's get into the first item. So this is the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Factory, and this came out in 2000 and got discontinued in 2001. So it only lasted a year, so I'm so curious to see like what was so bad about it. And this thing literally came out nine years before I was born. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so I have this cute little pizza right here. And apparently if you put this in the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Factory, you'll have Chuck E. Cheese Pizza at home. So we have the little pan right here and it also comes with this little tool to put it in. So this is pretty kid friendly so far. So now we're gonna put this in and see if this actually works. If I'm being completely honest, I don't think it will. Okay, so I just put it in and now I guess we have to let it cook. A few moments later. Okay guys, so I think the pizza is finally ready and now we just have to pull it out. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this actually worked or not, but oh, okay. <sighs> It actually cooks, look at that. Oh my goodness, is it like? Oh, it's actually hot. Okay, I cannot believe this actually worked, but now we're gonna try it and see if it tastes good. This thing is honestly really cool and it also comes with a pizza cutter. No way, <laughs> no way guys. Let's cut it into four slices. Okay, so we have this cute little Chuck E. Cheese pizza slice and now let's see if it tastes good. Oh my goodness, this is actually fire. I don't know why this got discontinued because this is really handy and it tastes really good. So I'm gonna give this like a nine out of 10. They should definitely bring this one back. The box also says that this is for kids eight and up. I'm guessing kids were probably burning themselves or something on this because I genuinely don't know why this got discontinued. Now that I think about it, I wouldn't trust my eight year old with an oven in his room. Like what? Okay, so this is the crocodile adventure. So basically you're supposed to press on its teeth and if you press on the wrong tooth, it's gonna snap down. This got banned because it was hurting a lot of kids and honestly, I see why. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared of this thing, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm actually really scared. Wait, why is this so nerve wracking? <laughs> oh my God, that actually kind of hurt. This thing deserved to be banned. I don't even know why they made this in the first place. Okay, we're gonna toss that and that thing is gonna stay discontinued. <laughs> So these are moon shoes and they're basically a trampoline, but for your feet. And this got discontinued because a lot of kids were like breaking their legs, hurting their ankles and just getting hurt. So of course I'm gonna try it. I'm scared because I do not want to break an ankle, but it can't be too bad, right? Okay, so this is what they look like outside of the box. And basically I'm just gonna strap my feet in and then I can just bounce around like I'm on a trampoline. So I got them on and now do I just bounce around? Ooh, they're kind of they're fun. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try walking. Honestly, these are kind of like uncomfortable to walk in. And I see why kids got hurt in this. Okay, so these are supposed to be a trampoline for your feet. So I'm gonna see if I can bounce in them now. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even stand up. <laughs> okay, these hurt so much. So I'm gonna take them off and these should stay banned. Okay, so this is a snack time Cabbage Patch Kid. She comes with like snacks and you're supposed to put them in her mouth and she's gonna eat it. But this got banned because a lot of kids were putting their finger in her mouth and getting seriously hurt. So hopefully that doesn't happen to me, but we're gonna try it. And look at this thing, it honestly looks kind of terrifying. <laughs> Toys should not be able to do that. I thought this was just a normal old doll, but homegirl is eating stuff. This is not okay. <laughs> Why do people even make stuff like this? Like this is so dangerous and it actually hurts. Okay, out of all the toys, this is probably the scariest one. So I'm just gonna put that over there and we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so these are clackers and they've been around for quite a while, but these got banned because kids were getting seriously injured while playing with them. So now I'm gonna play with them, guys. What do you even do with these? Like, how does this work? Do you, oh. Wow. Oh, you're gonna hit me. Wait, these aren't even that bad. Ow, that hurts so bad. Okay, I see why these got banned. I'm not playing with those ever again. So this, this is, um, I don't even know what this is. It looks like just a ball that has a reflection, but there has to be something more to this. So I'm gonna look up what this is. Okay, so this is a Fushigi and it's basically a ball that you can just do a bunch of illusions with. So this got banned because apparently people were complaining that it wasn't doing what it showed in the commercial. So basically this thing was a scam. So let's give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna watch the Fushigi commercial and see if I can do what they're doing in the video and just replicate it. It looks like it's floating. Fushigi, like, I don't know what it is, but it's the coolest thing ever, and I can do it. Okay, what they looked seemed pretty easy, so I should be able to do the exact same thing. It was basically like this, and like, just, 
button. Okay, and then he did it like where it comes like back and forth. I don't know how that works. Um, that didn't quite work out. Okay, maybe I'm doing it wrong, right? Maybe, does it look like it's like floating? Ooh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that thing is a scam. Okay, so don't waste your money on that because it's not worth it, it does not work. Like it looks so cool in the commercial, you can't do any of that, so don't waste your money, guys. So this is a wooden slingshot gun and I don't even know when this came out, but it looks kind of ancient. I'm guessing this got banned because kids were probably putting dangerous things in here and shooting their friends with it. But I just got a ping pong ball and we're gonna see if it works. This thing looks pretty old. It looks older than my grandparents. Okay, so I'm gonna test this on the stack of cups right here and see if this thing works. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. You know, I didn't have much faith in this thing, but it pulled through. This is actually kind of handy. <laughs> okay, so these are Heelys, and just like the moon shoes, these got banned because people were falling, breaking their ankles, arms, legs, everything. And also, you couldn't even wear these to school, so what was the point in buying these? But we're gonna see if I break an ankle, and maybe they'll actually be fun. There is a whole wheel on the bottom. <laughs> it's like wearing like roller skates to school. So, let's lace them up and try them out. Okay, so we're outside, and now I'm gonna try them, and let's hope that I do not break an ankle. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 okay. No, I'm not trying these. These things do not work, and this cannot be safe for kids. Like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this, guys. This sucks. So this is an easy bake oven, and honestly, I'm most excited to try this one because it looks so cool. These got banned in 2007 because parents didn't want their kids having an oven in their bedroom, which I understand, but this got discontinued right before I was born, so I've never got to try it, and here we are, I'm actually super excited, and I'm also curious to see if this stuff is gonna taste good, so let's do it. Honestly, when I was eight, I would have loved to have an oven in my room, <laughs> like that would've been so cool. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it goes like this, and then you plug it in, and I guess it just starts baking stuff, so let's see. Wow. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is so cool. Let's try it. Okay, so this didn't come with any of the ingredients, so I'm just gonna make a s'more and see if that'll work. It smells like fire. Plastic and fire don't really go well together. Okay, so I have my s'mores right here. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna put it in and hope this cooks. Okay, it's in there. I'm so curious to see if this is gonna work. I have high hopes, so let's see. Now I'm kinda scared. This thing smells like it's burning. Oh, okay, maybe kids shouldn't have had this. Oh my gosh. I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait for this, so. Oh, <gasps> wait, I think it's done. I oh. My goodness, oh wait, it's hot. Hold on, I don't know how to take this out. It didn't even come with the stick to get it out, so I'm using the Chuck E. Cheese one, and forget it, I'm going in with my hands. Oh, it's stuck to the inside. It worked though. It's like completely melted. All right, we're gonna give it a try in three, two, one. Mm. This is the best s'mores I've ever had. And the chocolate is nice and melted. Mmm. Okay, this is so good, and honestly, I think they should bring this back. This one was definitely my favorite, and my least favorite would definitely have to be the alligator, okay? That should stay banned. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if this video gets 5,000 likes, I'm gonna do a part two with even more banned toys, so like the video, y'all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!